Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Talk it out loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Martell Mama, Miss Marlene. Now, I don't know if it's the guilt that's weighing heavy on her because she pawned her motherly duties on someone else. I don't know if it's the shame of her knowing that both her boys ain't nothing. And I don't know if it's the public embarrassment that Martel and, you know, his brother has brought to her uh, because they've been living in Huntsville all their lives. So I know wherever she goes, she's getting the stares, the whispers and, you know, the pointing the finger, people asking her questions about Martel. I, I believe that. I, but I believe it could be all three of them. I believe it's probably all three of the things that is weighing heavy on Marlene. And I also believe that Martel has broken this woman. Because at one point, Marlene was on Melody's side. And that's why she say, she stated in an episode on Love and Marriage Huntsville that Martel was just like his daddy. I be, And as I believed it then, I believe it to this day because Mar Martel has shown no nothing but signs of criminal behavior. And so when Mar Marlene said that Martel was just like his daddy, she was speaking facts. But because Martel has broken this woman and way and and probably um you know weighed her down with the fact of you wouldn't have this if it wasn't for me. He has this woman thinking that everything that she had, even though he didn't, you know, had her give it all up, he got her thinking that this, that was all him. She wouldn't have had nothing if it had not been for him when all he did was marry Melody and Melody did everything else. But Marlene know doggone well that Martel is guilty of everything that he's been accused of from the stalking, her, um, the harassment, the DV charges, and even the corporal punishment that he has used towards Melody's kids. Marlene know doggone well that Martel did not go to jail over a simple text message. She knows her boy ain't shit. But for her to... It, it's one thing to try to back your son but it's another when you try to back your son to the point of you going against the person that you know is is innocent in the whole matter you're going to attack the victim now she could have just you know sh she could have just stayed neutral in the situation seeing that she is martel's mama but she didn't do that she went on the attack mode. She went on the attack mode with Martel for Martel. For her to sit up there and say that Melody needs to be a woman. I'm like, since the drunk woman that did a piss poor job at raising her kids. The woman that never allowed her kids to express themselves or their emotions, which is probably the reason that they act out now as adults and with their criminal behavior, can't get their emotions in check and are, and that reason, the part of the reason why Martel is facing all of these allegations today. So... I don't understand how she can even come let that statement come out of her mouth because this is a woman that comes from criminals raised criminals and she she even she had kids by a criminal martel was with her brother uh when he was about to be arrested for an alleged atm heist 
Melody came along and saved Martel from all of that criminal behavior that he had um, been shown, been seen throughout his childhood and, and that raised up into his adulthood. So for Marlene to say that Melody keeps bothering Martel, knowing doggone well that Melody has done everything that she could think of, everything in her power to disassociate herself from Martel, including changing her name back to her maiden name, just to let Martel and anybody else with any doubts, any type of confusion, know that she wants she had wants nothing to do with Martel at all. She does not wish to be associated with that man. So Marlene telling Melody to handle her business. When have she not handled her business? Hence the reason Melody was able to reinvent herself with all of her new businesses that she's currently running today. And whatever businesses Martel tried to start, the calendar, the wine, and whatever else he tried to start, it hasn't even left the ground. It hadn't even, it has not even launched yet. Marte, uh, Marlene knows that Melody was handling her business during their marriage as well as, uh, uh, she knew that Melody was handling her business in that marriage as well, which is why uh, Martel didn't have to do, he, he, was, he didn't have to do his criminal activity. Not one time did, did anybody hear of Martel being arrested while he was with Melody. Did anybody hear about Martel doing any type of criminal activities while he was married to Melody? His criminal behavior, it stopped when he got married to Melody and it picked right back up after Melody. So I believe that Marlene really want to thank Melody, but be, but Martel, because Martel is her son, and because Martel is putting this mess in her head about Melody, because he he's whining to her and playing on her sympathy, he has weighed this woman down. He has broken this woman, but it's her fault because she knows her son, and if she's allowing her son to to feed her these lies and she accepts them. Now I'm she I'm not saying she believe them because don't nobody believe Martel lies, but she accepts his lies, and that's well enough for Martel to think that uh to for him to know that you're on his side. And for her to sit up there and try to attack Melody when Melody has provided her son with a better, she afforded Martel a better quality of life while they were married. And even Marlene was able to reap the benefits from Melody's hard work from her handling her business. So while she's talking about seeing the real Melody, she know doggone well that what she what she see is what she get with Melody. There's no in between. That's why be, that's why she was able to maintain that beautiful house that she had. That wasn't because of Martel. I don't care how many times Martel put it in her head and or hold it over her head. That he was the he was the reason why she had all she had. Why uh, he was the reason that she didn't have to work. No, Melody was the reason that neither one of them had to work because she was handling her business. So for Marlene to sit up there and not sit this out, not stay neutral, trying to attack Melody. I really believe that Martel has broken this woman. But it, like I say, it's her own fault. Mel, uh, Marlene knows that without Melody, Martel would have been in jail a long time ago. She knows that Melody saved Martel. She knows that uh, Martel, she also knows that Martel did not 
overcome his criminal behavior. He just suppressed it while he was, while he was married to Melody because Melody offered him a better quality of life. And for Marlene and Martel to be appalled at Melody taking Martel to court. But Marlene didn't have, she didn't have Jack nothing to say when Martel was taking Melody to court over some bogus mess of excessive babysitters. And if Marlene had nothing to say, that tells me that she was okay with it. She didn't mind Melody losing her kids, only being able to have visitation or, you know, uh, seeing them on birthdays and holidays and stuff. She had no problem with that. She had no issue with that at all. So now that Melody is exercising her right to justice for not only her, but her and her kids, now it's a problem because the courts are involved. When that, when Martel is the one that introduced them to the courts, he got the ball rolling. And just because he got the ball, ball rolling down the hill, it doesn't stop when he wants it to. It's going to stop when it stops. But Marlene better stop letting Martel guilt get to her because whatever happened, however he was raised, he's an adult now, which he should be able to know that if he if something is wrong, he needs to go fix it. They have they have specialists for the stuff. He was offered to get some help. And if he chose not to take it, that's on him. That's not on her. So she needs to stop letting Martel guilt trip her into saying and doing whatever he wants her to say and do. Um, she better realize that Martel is not going to stop until he is actually stopped. And that means that if Martel has to do some jail time to get the help that he needs, then so be it. Be but Marlene needs to stop trying to pacify Martel because she already knows the real Melody. She knows that Melody is about her business. Melody is the person that made a way for all of them, for all of those years, made their life comfortable, better their life. So, like I say, Martel needs to be stopped. and But also, Marlene needs to stop trying to pacify him. He needs, she wants, she's talking about Melody being a woman. How about she allow her grown adult male son to be a man? That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.